This device over here is called a spark generator. The, uh, the motor here is going to cause the, the uh, axis to go, and this thing's going to rotate. And if we look closely inside here, uh, we should see a little black flap right there that is literally going to scrape charge off of these metal rods. There's another one on this side as well. And they'll separate the charge so that there's a, la uh, a larger positive charge on this side and a negative charge on this side. Now I have it connected to the spark gap. And I have two spheres, two metal spheres that are located a little distance apart from each other. And if I generate enough charge across that gap, I'll get a spark. Air will break down and become ionized and allow current to flow. So here goes with the power of this mighty sewing machine motor. And you can hear it if, even if you don't see most of these, you can hear the crackle as those sparks go. Now, that's not enough for me, so let me, oh yeah, let me just show you here. We have a scale here that shows me that that's about 20,000 volts that I've generated. So that's about 200 times the voltage in your power socket at home. And if I put them further apart, I'll generate a larger potential, and that'll probably generate a larger spark. But let's compare apples to apples and go back to 20. The next device I have here is a capacitor. It's just a piece of plexiglass that has metal plates on both sides. And if I hook it up, and it uh, is connected to uh, the, uh, the spheres that I had here. Let me just make sure that I've shorted them out. Okay, if I connect it to the spark gap, which in turn is connected to the spark generator, I should be able to store extra charge, and that means that when those two spheres discharge, because the capacitor plate's not going to discharge, when those two guys discharge, they'll have larger, um, a larger amount of charge to move, and that means more energy, that means more decisive spark. So let's go back here again, and I'll crank this up. It should take larger for it to charge up, but the payoff will be just exactly that a larger spark between the two gaps. And if there were some of those that you did not see, that's because the sparks, um, the sparks move faster than the uh, refresh rate on your uh, device, which is showing, well, faster than the refresh rate on this phone with which I'm uh, photographing this.